What a Wednesday, even though it's Tuesday, getting to the house. It's summer, it's hot as fuck, so I decided to try to find something that was cold. This is probably going to be a very um, low-scoring affair, but I wanted visualizations of cold because summer, it's insanely hot right now. I do not like it. Um, I think this is Antarctica just because of penguins, and I know that they're not... If I'm remembering correctly, penguins are not a northern hemisphere thing. They seem to be a southern thing. And if we're not on this island, we're maybe on here. But we're in this general area. Anyway, had to battle the remnants of a uh, of a uh, thunderstorm that it was like a 90... 295 degrees here Fahrenheit. You guys do the math for Celsius. Pretty humid. And in about 15 minutes of driving, it went from that to 70. And it was a very violent, aggressive rainstorm that just knocked a bunch of trees and whatnot over and took power out for probably three minutes, which is hilarious. Actually, more maybe more like 10, but um, it was just funny too. Uh, come home and is this fu- like I feel that if this isn't Antarctica, it's close. Just because penguins again. Um, I these look maybe like emperor penguins, but man, I don't know where the fuck this is. I think I've got a pretty good idea, but we'll just we'll just leave it here and continue talking about this. Uh, storm that hit that knocked over a very large tree and took the power out and impressive that they quickly uh, got the power back on just because you know thunderstorms power outages they know how to fix all this stuff and be like oh this happened so the me and my uneducated brain when it comes to electricity and rerouting power and whatnot they're like oh we'll just send it this way and they fix the problem i'm sure it's more complicated and simpler than that but it's magic to me since I don't know. And it led me thinking about um, different parts of the world and as far as like weather. Like I feel that, you know, relatively where I live in northeast uh, U.S., weather-wise, you know, forest fires, earthquakes, hurricanes, stuff like that. This is a relatively uh, tame area. I mean, yeah, I'm going to guess. Oh, we were pretty goddamn close. Um, we're now Brown Bluff Ad Penguin Colony. Um, and this is probably more. Oh, I don't know yet. Let's just, I'm going to meander for a while and just hit forward and hopefully kind of get somewhere. But I feel that this is just going to be fruitless. Makes me think this is South, uh, like the Andes. Or um, Antarctica again. But the problem is, this is so, uh, like, nondescript that I don't know where this is. Like, this type of ground makes me think that we're, like, in this area here. But this, again, could be Antarctica. And this also could be, like, the steppes of Mongolia, for all I know. But... The weather stuff's crazy, though. I mean, I'm sure there's even other places in the world that have even less. Like, if you think of Scandinavia, they get snow. I mean, I don't think they really get anything else. You know, Iceland has volcanoes. Um, Those are pretty bad, but the frequency in which those happen. I mean, it's less than earthquakes, I think, but still. If you really don't consider snow that big of a deal, which... Maybe it's because I've grown up here and dealt with it all the time. I don't really care. This seems, the snow seems like it's been here for a while. And I know there's a section of, uh, here. I forget exactly where that was the most arid, driest, like longest drought without any precipitation. I don't know if it still is. But I just remember that from an episode of Car- Where in the World's Carmen San Diego as a uh, 
as a kid. Not the uh, PBS show, but the cartoon. I can't tell you which one it was, just because there was a stretch of them. Let's see if this tells me anything. Uh, not really. Okay, we're... This would be really fun to hike, though. I think I would enjoy this very much. I would like to do this at some point. Granted, this isn't like going into the uh, Himalayas and having a chance of dying that way. This just seems like it would be a fun hike to do just to see what this looks like and be like, this reminds me a lot of Iceland, but I have a feeling a lot of what I'm going to see is just going to be this on the other uh, other uh, three maps. But again, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for maps you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. I think, just so you know, before the Friday one gets done, I think I'm going to record that nor before I normally do, so if you have a suggestion for a map, I may not get to it before uh, the next video goes up. Just know that I'll get to it in time. I have um, the move happening this weekend. I have scheduled appointment to get internet up at the new place. Hopefully everything goes smoothly and fine there, and there will be not any interruptions in uh, videos. Just know that that is a potentiality. I just want to get to this rock. All right, so what we have... Come on. Oh, this is probably just the park of the guy that we're on. All right, I got to make a guess. I'm going to say we're here, but honestly, I've got nothing to go on. This could be Antarctica again. I've got no idea. It's just this type of dirt reminds me a lot of this part of the world. And we'll see if I'm right. And I'm not. <laughs> just more Antarctica. Fine, fair enough. So I think this is all just going to be Antarctica again. This is going to be kind of a uh, boring map, and I do apologize for that. But again, it's uh, this is me just kind of going at this blind and feeling that I may have already done. This may all just be Antarctica again, even though it did not say in the description what this map entailed. The problem is... How's the point system going to work when picking a place in Antarctica? I don't know. I don't even, but, hmm. Yeah, I've got not much else to say. I don't see any, I wonder if there is any trees in Antarctica. Like, I know that it's very harsh as far as the weather goes, but I know that <clears throat> certain things can grow here. There's probably moss and lichen on these rocks. There's a bit of a tinge to the rock color here. Um, you know, there's erosion is very much unchecked here, but it, I, I think there has to be at least one tree, like not invasively put here, just like, oh, they came to this island once. So it's like, oh shit, there's a, uh, there's a tree here, but this does remind me a lot of uh, Iceland, as I've said before. Maybe not as much grass, but I also don't... This is probably like the, uh, well, winter, I mean summer for us here in the Northern Hemisphere, but this is probably like uh, maybe December or something with how much sand is, uh, sun is here and not much snow. But nothing on this ground here looks like it could like allow for trees or plants to grow but maybe there's some moss or whatnot i'm not i'm not a uh botanist i'm sure somebody would know like if they actually took the time to uh google it and see hey yeah there's trees on antarctica there's just you know maybe an inch tall but they've been there 100 years yeah if you don't know about certain trees like when you go to super high elevations and you see little tiny trees there they're not technically baby trees they could be like 30 50 years old the problem is just the habitat is so crappy that it can only grow so uh fast for the habitat that's why they do the tree rings things this is essentially the same exact trail i was on and i feel like click close um 
like if you ever look at tree rings and you can see the space in between the rings, that's how fast a tree grows in a season or a year. And, you know, the bigger gaps in between the rings, the more, like, productive, I guess you could say, the faster it grew. But, like, they're super narrow rings. It's because it was a rough year and they had to only grow so fast. So that's how most, like, botanists can be like, oh, this tree has, like, super tiny tiny space in between the rings it must be like a super rough place to live and i feel that if there were trees here it would do the same thing but this is all essentially the same thing i hit the wrong button oh apparently i couldn't remember exactly where we were last time so uh i'm an idiot yeah this seems to be a bit of a dud as far as this uh map goes um, so I'm just going to quick guess out, and we'll do a, a fast, like, maybe daily challenge, just, just to, like, yeah, this all is essentially the same thing, and it's like some guy, actually, no, I mean, it just all looks the same. Give me a moment, I'll bring up another one. All right, we're doing daily challenge now. We're going to do speed round. I'm only going to give myself a minute. Just because I only have so much time. I got to do a lot of packing because of the, uh, um, because of the move I got coming up. Um, this I feel is, we're going to be super fast. This region of the world. Uh, let's see if I can't find anything else. My score is going to be terrible this time. I'm, I'm going off of gut it, gut instinct and, if you've known from the uh, videos from earlier this week, when I think I've got a place nailed pack like the Marshall Islands or American Samoa, turns out not so much. Okay, this is a bit hilly, mountainous. I'm still not completely sold if this is... Uh, I'm going to say we're in uh, Costa Rica, and we're only giving myself a minute. <laughs> well, this is what happens. All right. Instantly, Scandinavia. Here we go. Uh, how well does my brain work under short short time frames? Um, if you don't know, apparently pretty bad. Okay, this is Sweden. Sweden, I don't know what it is about this part of the world with their flags, but they do very, like, thin, narrow flags. I mean, I, I don't see it anywhere else except Norway, Sweden, maybe Finland? I don't know. But uh, it seems to be a very Scandinavian thing, at least. Like, I know Denmark's done it. I'm not going to find this place other than, like, just taking a stab at it, because there's no other way I'm going to get this in the extreme short amount of time I have. Maybe if I had more... I could uh, narrow it down, but at this point, I don't. Hopefully, I got close. Not bad. I'll take it. 500 points off. Um, this, let's see. If I can get it off of this. We're in Mex... That, I believe that's a Mexican... Like, logo... Hmm. I don't know. I was hoping that was going to tell me everything, and I could uh, just guess from that, but not the case. Um, I feel this is Mexico, but this very well, just because of that logo, this very well could be uh, Brazil. Um, I got 15 seconds. I got to try to figure it out from this sign. Let's see. Nope. Let's see what this sign says. Oh, 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 oh. Let's let's take a look. What's this sign say? Get me close. Oh shit, time. Uh Mexico. We're gonna say central right there. Yeah, I got pretty close on that one too with a extreme time constraint. Okay. This is a super like 
half-ass. I, I'm gonna, I almost apologize for this just because I maybe should have done a bit more homework on that uh, cold, 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 just because I assumed it wouldn't be... No, here's five places in, in, in Antarctica. That's not that interesting, but, you know, them's the breaks. Oh, here we go. Interstate 390, 408. This does not help me. Hmm. Rotary Disco, huh? Uh, what's this sign say? Historic District. Um, is this like Philadelphia? No. Guinness, or Guinness, I feel is a, uh, Guinness, I feel is like a, uh, Midwestern thing. Let's 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 go take a uh, uh, a look back. This feels like a very homely downtown. Welcome to Mount Morris. His words become our nation's pledge. The fuck is this? Okay, we got trails. This is such a down like home downtown Main Street just. I have no idea where this is, though. Um, Guinness, Guinness Valley. Um, where's 408? It's in, like, around Milwaukee. I feel there's... No. Where's the 408? There's a 290. Detroit. Philadelphia is all 200s. 476. I'm going to click like here. Oh shit, time. Fuck. Oh, we were. Okay, Geneseo. Ah, that would explain why I uh, didn't see it. Because I had it confused a little bit, but the quality wasn't the greatest either. Ah, uh, this would have BC. I almost feel like that says. I gotta remember to pay attention to time. Country style B and B and Bale. Wesley Lake. I don't know where the fuck that is. Um Alright. Here we go. Bridge Lake Resort Area. That does not help me. I have no idea what part of the world this is. This could be Canada. This could be Northwest. Um Artisan Quilter. Mm, doesn't help me. This is talking. Not that type, you freaks. Bridge Lake Road North. Doesn't help me either. Um, what's this? This is probably just saying the that thing again. About Bridge Lake. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, we got U.S. flags, Germany. That doesn't help me. Bridge Lake. Is this another, like, uh... Am I confusing New York again for a, uh... Okay, here we go. Bridge Lake store. Sud... Nope. That doesn't help me. Lodging. Nope. Come on. Give me, like, a highway or something. You're making a big deal out of this bridge lake. I can't make out any of these. Getting flustered. Yeah, I know I'm over on time, but... This one isn't... Hmm. This one, I don't know. I feel like I need to give... There has been not enough information here to tell me. This is very nondescript. That's the uh, excuse I'm going with here. Just give me a route, highway sign. Oh, I've got nothing. I mean, this could very well be Minnesota, Alaska, fucking upstate New York. We're in British Columbia. All right, British Columbia. I have something. Where is my... What happened? 
Oh, Jesus, that really confused me. Like, I thought I lost the Bridge Lake. Are you Bridge Lake? No. Um, shit. We're going to put ourselves here and make a guess. Okay. I wasn't that far off. Um, not a bad score. This has been a sloppy video. Um, but all I can do is apologize and say, hey, under extreme time constraints and trying to get stuff done, but whatever. I will try to do better for Friday, but if you guys have any suggestions for maps or anything else, honestly, any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, critiques, whatever, put them in the comments below. I will get back to them as soon as possible. Um, moves coming soon. Like I said, I'm going to try to make sure it doesn't interrupt any of these videos. I do appreciate your watching. Like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. We'll be back on Friday with another round with hopefully a bit better focused GeoGuessr. So, uh, have a good one, folks. We'll see you real soon.